we told you throughout the show we would be as we got Capitals talking hockey with some of the best studs on this team throughout the day, and one of them sits down and joins us right now. Good drop in, Jacob. The show nephew, Jacob Verana. It is great to see you again. What's How up, you? fellas? How you, doing, How you doing? Good. Are you okay with being the show nephew? Is that fine with you? Or would you rather be like the show brother or the show cousin? Or would you rather just not be related to us at all? Let, let's do brother. 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 Uh, okay. Nice. Kid brother. That really brother. plays yeah. good hockey. <laughs> Kid yeah. brother. I like that. So you're like, we're the guys you like. You, you never really looked up to us necessarily, but you kind of liked that we – like he was friends with the chick you thought was hot, and then I had like a couple of buddies I hung out with that you thought were funny, so at times you tried to like tag along with us. Does that work out? Uh, what? what, what? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the right reaction. There's a whole backstory that you don't know about that we didn't really explain very well because uh, we're both huge Jacob Rana fans, like huge. We're, we're massive fans. We, Appreciate like, that. Like we like it. We get really Bigly. excited. When we see guy go from, like, prospect, we go, ooh, that guy's going to be good, and then he's good, and great plays happen. We get, like, really excited, like, we had something to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, okay. that's that's kind of how fans are. Yeah. I'm not saying it's correct or rational, or what I'm saying when is your you reaction is right. Get, uh, uh, this is – I think we need to start the interview. That's what I think. Great day here on the fan. Jacob Ronis. No, uh, are we good? We good. Are you good with this? Yeah. All right, so fine. that's where we kind of decided. We're like, since we both love Jacob Rana, like – you, well, who do you love? You love your nephew. You love your brother. You love your cousin. So, like, you're the show's younger brother. What do you think of that bowl of all those noodles right there? Well, is that your lunch? It is. Wow. Well, well, what is that? It's like? ramen, man. It's uh. It it's, looks like a like a Thai soup or something. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much exactly what it is. Do you like pho? Are you familiar with pho? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do like so that. That's, that's what that is. What yeah. It is. So a little udon in there, mostly some ramen. We already ate all the meat because I'm a great big fatty, and this is my second bowl. <laughs> yeah, you're good, man. You're Thank good. you, man. You're in a good shape. Yeah. Are you a vegan? Just, uh, no. Do you like meat? Yeah. Okay, the only good. thing I don't eat is pork. Pork? No yeah. pork. Steak you love? Yeah, I eat steak. What's your favorite cut of steak? Uh, I like, uh, what's that one called? A little juicy. Uh, uh, like a Prime rib. Like a ribeye? Big one. Ribeye, rib rib yeah. Ribeye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like rib that one. Yeah. Ribeye's good. <laughs> rib medium, good. medium. It's good. All right. Jacob Ron is with us. Hockey stuff now. Pretty much doubled your goal output from 2018 to 2019 last year. What's your ceiling as a goal scorer? What do you think? Uh, you know, I don't like I don't like to set up my goals by numbers. You know, I'm just going out there and try to score as many goals I can score. So I don't want to say like, uh, you know, I'm going to score 30 goals this year. I don't want to say that because maybe you score more. You know, I think and, you are. I think uh, you score at least 30. Okay, yeah. You think but, that? Uh, you know, let's just let's just keep it okay. uh, before the season starts. You know, I I, I want to definitely yeah. I want to score the most I can, but maybe it's going to be more. Are and, you going uh, to play on the power play first power play? Uh, I don't know. Because here's uh, my thing on you. I don't think you. so. I, I think if you is. played power play time, you could score thirty to forty goals. Like, people sleep on the fact your goal total has n almost no power play time. The great goal scorers in the league, the guys around the league that get all these goals, they they get the power play. For you to do what you do at even strength is pretty crazy. I'd be lobbying for time on the PP if I was you. Yeah, uh, you know the, you know we we uh, on the first power play we have some scoring machine there, so it's kind of tough to, to, but to get. You, you guys but don't have anyone who like. <laughs> the one guy's pretty good. You don't yeah, have any guy. like. You don't have any legit goal scorers on the power play though. What, what do you mean? <laughs> like, we have Ovi over there. No, no, no. <laughs> you need like someone. Score 50 goals, but <laughs> you, you need someone who like uh, can do a slap shot from like that the circle. That's like that's, an office type yeah. place. Yeah, like someone from an office. You need a guy like that. Yeah, uh, we have two power play <laughs> units. So uh, I'm messing with you. Obviously, we, you got Ovi. A, yeah. So first power play, there's one. Yeah. Um, you know, so second power play, as, as long as the first one doesn't score, uh, see how much time we're gonna get there. So uh, yeah, like you said, uh, it's different to score f goals five on five and and power play. That's for sure. Would uh, would you do this off season? Did you make any cool trips, vacations? What'd you do? Uh, I actually went uh, went to Spain uh, with with few of my friends awesome. uh, where I used to play with uh, in Sweden. Uh, I actually went to Sweden. Uh, I met I met Andre Burakovsky there. Uh, Did been, you? Yeah, we've been on some show together, so uh, it was nice to see him. Uh, otherwise, I was back home in Prague, just uh, you know, hanging out and and uh, be with my family. What do you mean you were on a show together, like a TV show? You guys were on TV? Uh, no, it was like a concert. Oh, you went to a show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a, yeah. <laughs> He's smiling big. He had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Good. How is Burr? He's over in Colorado now. You gonna miss him? 
Uh, definitely, uh, definitely. All all the guys we we lost uh, uh, this summer, they, they all been uh, great guys, and and you know we have a great memories together. So uh, it wasn't uh, wasn't easy to say goodbye, but uh, you know we're still gonna play against them, and you're still gonna see those guys. So. Andre, I almost said Andre Burkowski is with us. See, He's not. All my Andre mind. Jacob Ron is not with us. With us. Uh, what's next? What's the next step for you in terms of your development? Again, the arrow is is obviously trending up in terms of goals and points and, and everything that you've accomplished here in, in your young career. What do you want to work on to add to your game this year? Uh, there is there is always something to work on. I feel like uh, you know the, the the hardest part is to to be consistent. You know you you know you have up and downs during the season and you and you and a play your best hockey as, as long as you can for the whole season obviously but sometimes there is times where, where you can't really find your game so I think the consistency is the, the hardest part but uh, uh, obviously I still want to uh, skate like I do and you know shoot the puck and, and uh, produce uh, produce offensively and, and uh, as well as well defensively let's give out some awards real quick best dressed teammate who would you give it to Best dressed teammate? Like you mean like looks on the ice? Uh, no, like best dressed. Like who, who wears the best outfits? Uh, best outfits. Yeah. Like, wow. Like suits, I don't know, ties, we, that kind of stuff. Oh, suits and ties. Yeah. Uh, I would say Braden Holby looks looks pretty Sharp fresh. Guy. Uh, yeah. Wh- who's the worst I'll dresser see. on the team? Who the, wears the worst? Like you're like, dude, dresser. why are you wearing that? Ah uh, man, you should see Zniski's uh, shoes last year, but oh really? Uh, they they've been there for for a couple of years, but <laughs> no, I I uh, I'm not sure. I you know I don't want to <laughs> I don't wanna like give we anybody can throw him hard under time. The bus. He's you know, not here I'm anymore. not like best dressed, so I don't. Yeah, know. he's in Philly. We can yeah. throw him under the bus. <laughs> um, what about you, if you could uh like you're gonna hang out for the day? You're gonna hang out with a couple guys. Who are you most likely to go out to dinner and go hang out with? That's on the team now. Who are your boys? Uh, for now on, you know, we we'll have a I have my brother here, Vitek Vanchek. We, he's been here with me since since we get drafted together all the camps. So now with him and uh, obviously uh, m- most of the single guys left. So there's there's guys with families now. So you know they are pretty busy. But uh, uh, you know, yeah, just uh, always find somebody. I've been hanging out with with Goody lately. Uh, Gudas, um, Panic. A uh, couple of check, so check, we're gonna check, ask, check, of, <laughs> check fellas. We're going to ask you about, about Gudis, okay, yeah. because we're fans. We're just, we don't play hockey. You do. you got to deal with these guys on the ice. When we see a guy like that on the other team, like, I hate that guy, right, because he's just a goon. I feel like he's dirty. He's always hitting you guys. But you guys can separate that stuff. I always find that really impressive, that, that what he does on the ice doesn't matter off the ice, whereas I can only think about him, like, slashing you or a dirty hit after the whistle or trying to bait you in a fight with a face wash or something like that. I can't stand that guy, but he's here. Now I have to love him. Yeah, you know, he's a great guy. You can you can just see, you know, like once you step on the ice in the game, and things, things are totally different. You know, you just try to play as hard as you can for your team. And once once off the ice you, you meet a guy, you, you're like, wow, this guy is his beauty, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, – the same thing with Dom, you know. Dom, you know, you know how he plays. He plays yeah. really hard, but once he gets off the ice, you know, it's it's a great guy, and and you know, you see, he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Or it's the same with Goody. So, yeah, it's just a beauty. Our kid brother, Jacob Verano, Our youngest brother. We've decided that he's a, he's a third member of the of the Grant and Danny radio family here. Jacob, thank uh, you. We appreciate. Thank you guys. It. Good seeing you, buddy. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank We're you. live at Capitals MedStar Iceplex. If you missed our interviews with T.J. Oshie, Tom Wilson, Nicholas Backstrom earlier today, make sure you grab those.